Hello guys, welcome to our channel. This is Times. My son, Dr. Aditya Prasad Padi. Follow us in Instagram, Telegram, YouTube, and Facebook. And join us for daily quizzes at 10 p.m. in Telegram. Also follow me in Concept Group Faculty. Now the mock test are free of cost. So please utilize this. Today's topic is one page DNM of whole GIT. We will study about esophagus, stomach, and colorectal carcinoma. Very, very important topic. And nowadays, one clinical questions you can face, like 60-year male with history of partial gastrectomy came to your, your SOPD with extra pathology report showing tumor infiltrating to the mucosa or submucosa with uh, five to six lymph node involvement. So what is the TNM staging for this case or how will you follow or further management for this case? So like this, the questions are coming. So it is very, very important in one page only. We will remember the comparatively. So please see the video two to three times. So prior to TNM classification, I will say briefly about the histology of the gut. Okay, this side is the lumen. And here, first layer is lamina propria. Then followed by muscularis mucosa, submucosa, muscle, then subserosa, then serosa. Okay, subserosa is not mentioned here, remember this. So in the muscular layer, there are four layers again here. It consists of Okay, first is muscular is muscular coat, then muscular fibers, okay, muscular is propria, then muscular is externa. And just remember this because it will helpful in the remember TNM classification. And in depth uh, knowledge regarding the histopathology, you will get in the histology. Okay, so if the tumor is involvement up to here, this uh, large tumor is there. Okay, up to the muscle or muscular propria, then it will come under P2. Up to here, it will come as T1. Okay, just briefly I am telling to remember like this easily and we will discuss in detail in our next slide. Here, already there are three pictures put in and put of uh, histopathology. One is esophagus, one is stomach, one is colorectal carcinoma. Very, very important. Okay. So you can see T1, T2, T3, T4, I have written in a comparative way. The sky blue colors are nothing but it is A, B, subdivision, that is A, B. Okay, it is B, blue means B, T, T1, A, T1, B. So up to, so here you can see this is, uh, just one minute, submucosa is here. Okay, then muscular is propria is inside this. So, here also submucosa and here also submucosa. So, remember like this. Up to this submucosa is T1 and after that T2. Then after that T3 and T4 usually adjacent structures. Easy? So, T1 is involvement of lamina propria and mucosa and submucosa. Out of them, T1A is lamina propria and mucosa only. And the same way, full esophagus, stomach, and colorectal described. And T2 is always muscularis propria, muscularis propria, muscularis propria. Now it comes to T3 and T4. T3 is beyond muscularis propria, that is involvement of adventitia layer. Adventitia means because here there is no peritoneum, so no serosa layer in case of esophagus, it is adventitia layer that is made up of connective tissue. Now T4 is outside that is adjacent structure is always T4. And again, it divided into A and B. A means involvement of peritoneum, pericardium, and pleura, then a jagospin and diaphragm. Whereas T4B is involvement of airway, vertebra, aorta. Aorta, okay? These are tubular structure. So remember this. Now next is stomach. Stomach T1, T2 is same way. You, you can see in a comparative way. Whereas T3, T4 is different. So T3 is subserosa and serosa. Okay, so T3 mainly involvement of subserosa as well as visceral peritoneum. Okay, and T4 is serosa and AS means adjacent structures you know already. As it is written in blue, T4A is involvement of serosa, T4B is involvement of adjacent structure. Now come to the colorectal carcinoma. The same way T1 is MSM. T2 is MP always, okay. 
n p this one is always c2 this one is c1 okay now t3 is peri colorectal tissue t4 is again divided into t4a and t4b so esophagus has no t4a b sorry esophagus has t4a b and uh, stomach has also t4a b and colorectal also has t4a b okay remember this and t1ab is no colorectal don't have rest all has t1ab okay don't confuse over here and bp is again visceral peritoneum and as is adjacent structure so let me memorize you okay just go on seeing this lp msm msm because no lamina propria here okay and next is always muscular propria is t2 T3 is adventitia connective tissue layer. Here, subserosa and visceral peritoneum. Here, peri colorectal tissue. Whereas again, A B, okay, P P P A B D means peritoneum, pleura, pericardium, esophagus, vein, diaphragm, aorta, vertebra, and next is uh, airway. Now here, uh, in stomach, it is again T4 A B serosa and adjacent structure. visceral peritoneum and adjacent structures remember now after t next is n nodal then m so m is m0 m1 no, no need to worry no metastasis metastasis is present so n is again you can see 1 to 2 3 to 6 more than 7 same 1 to 2 3 to 6 more than 7 but it again divided into 7 to 15 more than equal to 15 16 remember now colorectal carcinoma is also some extent to same but here 1 2 3 and more than 4 again divided into t n n 1 a n 1 a means one lymph node involvement n 1 b is 2 to 3 involvement and n 1 c is no lymph node involvement but subserosal lymph node or mesenteric lymph node or peri colic or peri rectal lymph node involvement whereas n 2 a is 4 to 6 lymph node whereas n to b is more than equal to 7 lymph node so remember this full chart keep in front of your eye so that it will be easier okay so th this one is a chart and uh, this is how we are completing the tnm in easier way share with your friends like share and comment and follow us in instagram telegram youtube as well as facebook and also put in the comment box about your next topic you want to memorize or whichever you of you are facing difficulties so see you in the next topic till then bye